While tonight's news is not a surprise, uh, while this is something that we have been expecting for a long while now, while this is something that we certainly have been thinking through the implications of for a very long while now, so, so while, this, while this does not come out of the blue, I do think there's one thing we all need to be preparing for here that we are maybe not prepared for. And that is what I think is the very high probability that this is going to be boring. I'm not sure we're prepared for that. I'm not sure either side ideologically is prepared for that. I don't think the punditocracy is prepared for that. I don't think you and I tonight are prepared for that because this feels like really big news and really big news feels like it has a lot of momentum. But as far as I can tell, right, this is about a legal proceeding starting. And if you look at the kind of legal proceeding this is going to be, I think we need to prepare ourselves for the fact that, A, this might go on for a really long time. And it might go on where the incremental additional news on this news story each day is something that feels like reading the small print on the back of a lottery ticket or even your car rental insurance waiver. This might really be boring. And I say that um, because I do think the um, overheated expectation for how this transforms us as a country is um, something that's almost always um, born to disappoint. But I also say it because this isn't something that is unprecedented in the world of criminal law. The actual adjudication of cases like this one, as much as we know about what kind of case this is before the indictment is unsealed, the actual adjudication of cases like this is often a very boring thing. I will tell you, since this particular district attorney, Alvin Bragg, has been the district attorney for Manhattan, his office has reportedly charged falsification of business records as a felony count 117 times. He has not been DA for that long, but in that time, he's indicted on this charge 117 times. And that's what you call trivia, because... It's not that important. Not one of those cases was interesting enough to make the news on its own terms.